here's an interesting thing that can go wrong with any child you might eventually have. Okay, you've got a daughter and she's doing just fine and she's growing up just fine and things are terrific and you know around age 10 or 11 or so some of her classmates are beginning to reach puberty you know that's on the early side for the western average but it's not outrageously early not a big deal by about 12 you know statistically about half of the girls in her class have reached puberty 12 is about the westernized average these days she hasn't yet not a big deal a year later she still hasn't well this is nothing critical but it's getting a little bit on the late side a year after that two years after that she has still not reached puberty so at that point you take her to a physician who examines her closely and figures out what's up and at some point, the physician is probably going to have pupils dilate or some sort of weird autonomic response when they figure out what's up. And then very calmly, in a premeditated way, sit you down for a little talk afterward and inform you that your daughter has not started menstruating, has not reached puberty yet. Your daughter has not started doing this because you don't have a daughter. You got a son. This kid here for these last 14 years has actually been male, not female. You have what is called, no, I'm not going to tell you what, okay, it's called, especially since it's in the handout already, anyone want to guess what it's called? It's called a TFM, testicular feminization syndrome, and you wind up with a testicular feminized male. These are individuals who genetically are male at the level of chromosomes, that XX and XY business. These are individuals who have testes testes way up in their stomach or whatever never descended down. These are people whose testes make testosterone. Testosterone out the wazoo, tons of testosterone, enough testosterone to put like antlers on your testes or something, that much <laughs> testosterone. And nonetheless, you're getting a female phenotype. You are getting a female external genitalia. You are getting female everything. Yep, question? No, that's the fancy term for it. And you've just given away the punchline, you creep. Okay. <laughs> so they figured out in this disease there's an, in, there's an insensitivity to something. What could that be? Okay, go and say it again. Yes, okay. What you've got here is one of those simple little classical mutations. And what it does is it changes the shape of the androgen receptor, the testosterone receptor, and at that point it doesn't matter how much testosterone is floating around, those target cells are not going to listen. This is consequential. This is a major consequence. This is one of changing gender phenotype, and there is a long and at times absolutely appalling history of what has been done with individuals who have testicular feminization syndrome, what counts as the medically appropriate intervention. There's some horrifying history there that could be straight out of the first lecture in terms of some notions of what counts as normal gender behavior.